All right, so uh, this is Bob. Bob is an American Bulldog, and he is a great dog, but he is uh, an insecure dog. He's, and he was, he's lunging and barking at people, I think, because he wants more distance between them. So this is an exercise. What we're doing, we're doing some behavior adjustment training. We're providing him a mild uh, distraction by having these treats on the floor. Now, remember, we don't want to have any tension on the leash. There we go. So walk towards it. When you're doing this, you want to watch two things. You want to watch the leash and the dog's tail. You want to have a little bit of a dip in the leash. And you see, he's more interested in the treats at this point than he is me. Um, now, Adam's going to come in in a second, and Adam's going to basically uh, get probably about to this space. You're going to be about halfway distance in here, Adam. And Adam's going to kind of look to the side, and maybe I might have Adam move around a little bit. What we're going to do is, if you see the tail coming up, or he starts walking in this direction, I want you to make a kissing sound like, right. and then you're going to crouch down and call him. Both of you guys can, but don't do it too excitedly. But the idea is to get him to come to you. Um, I'm gonna, uh, one last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you, some, I'm gonna toss these there. I'm gonna have you basically just, when he comes over to you, you don't I, ideally you wanna give him a lot of treats, but the first couple times it helps jumpstart okay. things. Okay, so he's feeling uh, pretty good. Adam, you're gonna go ahead and come on in. And just stand, just walk up. And kind of, uh, uh, have your foot right there. Just kind of uh, tap your foot, there we go. All right, so if you wanna come and stand right in the middle. There we go. Go ahead and call Bob, but don't pull him. Uh, uh, come, there you go. And then pet him and say come. Boy. And just we're gonna say just come, I haven't had a chance to get to that part of the session. We'll get to that after Adam leaves. Oh, and then we're gonna let him go back to chew, chew on the floor. Or chew on, not the floor, but the treats on the floor. Oh boy. Now normally when people come into the house, Bob is a bit of a wild card. We don't know how he's gonna behave. Right. But right now, because he has these distractions, he feels a lot more comfortable. Adam, I'm gonna have you come and sit right here on the edge where I was sitting. See, right there, call him. Call him. Uh, here. Perfect. So the stare is also an indication. Yeah. The stare with a lowered head and a freeze to a dog is a big warning. I'm not comfortable with what you're doing. Perfect. And now we're going to let him go back. We're not going to direct him. And we're just going to perfect. So now, there you go. There you go, Bob. He likes what's in my hand. Yes, he does. So go ahead and take a couple steps, maybe go in the kitchen real quick, so he's, and don't let him follow. There you go. So now those treats are gone. Where are the other treats? Oh, they're here they are. So basically what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna have you take a half step back, but keep the, uh, the, leash, uh, the leash loose. And uh, so the idea is it's, it's really hard because when I'm teaching this, it's hard because it seems like we're really not doing anything. And that's kind of the point. Uh, we want the dog to practice being in the room with Adam without reacting to Adam. Um, so Adam, I'm gonna have you just go ahead and just stand up slowly. I'm gonna have you walk to the, uh, the snowman and then turn around and walk back and sit back down where you were. And then go ahead and just go on back. So uh, Bob's orientation is nice. He's facing this way. We'd like the dog. We don't want to. Call. There we go. So go ahead and call him right there. Right there. Bob, here. Here, Bob. And then just, and don't give him a treat this time, just reward him. Good Perfect. Job. Good job. So anytime that Bob starts getting, what we want to do is we want to identify whenever Bob's going to start getting insecure or, or not liking things. So right now we see his tails down. He's sniffing, he's looking at the camera. Uh, but he's, these treats are here, and Adam doesn't seem to be posing any sort of a threat. And so I'm now I'm kind of coming around. Now, we're not going to let him get close, any closer to Adam than this. Um, and we're just going to ignore it. Please don't get uh, the camera person is kind of engaging with Bob a little bit, and that'll make him want to do that more. Bob. Bob here. Bob here. There we go. Bob here. So when he does that, there you go, a little bit more, there you go, and a little Good pet. Job. Good, Good job. Yeah, buddy. Excellent. Good job. So what I'd like to guard, and that's a great sign, that was a yawn. Uh, that could be a calming signal. In that case, I think it was just, I'm relaxed enough to yawn. So what I want the guardians to do is I want them to practice having come, people come over that Bob would normally be reactive to. Not people that he knows, preferably new people. And just kind of recreate this whole situation where I sprinkle the dust here, and the person's going to come in, and we want Bob's body language to be nice and relaxed like this. And as soon as Bob stares, gets stiff, pulls on the leash, or the tail comes up, or the hackles go up, and at that point we want to crouch down and make kind of a kissing sound. Perfect. Now, if he wanted to approach Adam right now, I'm not going to have you do it, but his body language, just for the purpose of this video, is a, a body language I would allow him to come and interact with Adam normally because he's telling me I'm very comfortable. Now, one thing we have to be careful of, we're almost done with the pixie dust or the uh, crumbled treats on the floor. Right there, Colin? Come here. To, uh, wrap on the floor a little bit? Come here, buddy. 
Perfect. Good job. There we go. So each time that he moves away, something good happens. He's got a little affection. He's not reacted at all. He's not shown us any signs of anything. But make sure that you have the, stim the, the distraction sprinkled first. So we sprinkled the distraction. The dog was outside. He didn't see that. Then he got engrossed in this first. Then we introduced the stimulus. And the stimulus is kind of doing it in a slow movement. And we're making it easy for him. Eventually, we could have two people come in. Now, we wouldn't want to do this with your dog because that's going to create a little bit too much excitement. But what we want to do is practice being around people without lunging, reacting. And anytime that he feels nervous, we're helping him initially by calling him to us. But eventually what should happen is the dog stares and then just walks away on his own. Maybe walking that way. Um, but right there, you see the body line just nice and calm. There we go. Tail went up a little bit, but I think that was more he was excited to be petted. Normally, you'll see the tail kind of going up and getting straight and stiff at the top. That's kind of a warning sign. All right, um, well this is how we can use behavior adjustment training to teach the dog, right there, Colin? Wow. Oh. Perfect. So this is how we can use behavior adjustment training to help the dog learn that the, instead of reacting and barking and lunging at someone to get him to move away, the dog can actually move away and accomplish the same thing. Good boy.